I gotta go. No, stay here with me, please. I need to get some answers. I'll be back soon. Don't go anywhere without security, okay? Okay. Don't you go anywhere without this. hundred times she never came because she died so what's the deal you guys been going tag team on this guy Jenkins all night has he slipped up yet no he wants some coffee really well I'd like the truth let me talk to him If you think Aiden's questioning techniques for a lawsuit are waiting to happen, just let Slater in there. What makes you think you can get him to talk? I just want to talk to him. Come on. You guys are kidding me, right? If you touch him, you're going to your favorite cell downstairs. Whatever you say. We'll be out here listening, Zach. Don't screw up. I've been a guest before. Good luck. OK. Mr. Jenkins. Long night? You didn't seem so concerned last night at the party. I was surprised to see somebody from the old days. Your trap was a surprise, too. Tell me about my mother. Your friends trying to get me to admit to murder. I'm not here for that. Why don't I believe you? I want my mother back. Can you give her to me? When I first saw your mother, she was in the garden. Her needlepoint was on the ground. She, she was taking a break. She was twirling in the wildflowers. When Amelia first saw me, she laughed. She was out of breath. I handed her sewing things to her. Her hands were so delicate, beautiful. She loved my mom. You? She did. More than she loved my dad. Oh, she loved Cambias at first. You know, it wasn't about the, the power or money or her social standing. Amelia believed Alexander needed her. Did he? Maybe. Maybe he needed the idea of her. He used to trot her out to charm his guests at parties, to drape her over his arm like eye candy, to bear his children. Why are you here in Pine Valley? Because of you. Do you have anything at all to tie this guy Jenkins to the note that I got in the funeral? Anything? No. Whoever the killer is, he's good. We don't have any fibers, no prints, nothing. I just don't get it. Why would he warn me and nobody else? I don't think it's so much about helping you as it is screwing over Zach. The more isolated he is, the more desperate he becomes. That's good for the killer. And the note warns us that he's watching us. So you came here because of me? To what? To punish me? Why would I do that? Amelia loved you. Her two sons were the light of her life. Oh, oh she had plans for you and Michael. How's that looking so far? 
as much as she wanted to get out of that marriage, she wanted you two boys out of that house. Your father was cold and demanding. She wanted you to, to be happy children, you know, to grow up to be happy, well-rounded men. Instead, I mean, it would have made her sick to see what happened to Michael. It would have broken her heart in two. Well, maybe if she'd lived, huh? Just as it would have broken her heart when you died. When I learned that you were alive, that you were a grown man, that your, your name was Zack Slater, I had to know that you would have a better life. You couldn't have loved my mother that much. If you had, you'd hate me for killing her. The killer didn't contact me before, so why now? Well, maybe he just wants to change his M.O. Play with us a little bit. We got to get him to do it again. <laughs> you got any ideas? Actually, I do. You think it'll work? Worth a try. You know, Mr. Jenkins, I really don't remember the day my mom died. You were so young. Yeah, no, I know I was young. And now, now I understand. You, you were gonna run off with her. You loved each other and you were gonna take the kids with you. And then she fell. We all lost her that day. Mm -hmm. But I pushed her. I killed my mom. And I killed your shot at happiness. I pushed her. If anyone pushed her, it wasn't you. It was your father. What did you just say to me? If anyone killed Amelia, it was your father. this case in any way. It's going to be you and me in this room with the door locked. You got me? The hell got into you? What sets you off? Go on, get out of here. Turn around and go. We loved her very much, didn't we? And we miss her very much. But we get through this together. I'll never leave you, son. I'll never let you forget your mother. to stay with us again, where he belongs. You're taking them back to the penthouse right now. I'm not going anywhere. The cops have Jenkins. It's over. We are safe. We don't know that. We don't have any evidence against the guy. And until we do, he should be with Ryan. No, Zach, absolutely not. There is no way I'm letting Annie play mother to my Spikey. No way. Is that what this is all about? She is using Spike to get to Ryan. I mean, you, you should have seen her. It was pathetic. She used the way she was coaching Emma. She actually got her to call him daddy. Ryan is her daddy. No, he is a sperm donor. Oh, Big wow. difference. Right? So you're willing to put Spike at risk because you are jealous of Annie? I don't get it, Zach. You swore up and down the casino was safe. You, you, you had tons of security, you, you, hidden cameras, everything. And now you're telling me that Spike and I aren't safe here? Let's take him to the penthouse, please. What, what happened? I mean, you, we, we got Jenkins. You thought that he was the one. He was the R in, in your mother's love letters. You were convinced that it was him. Yeah, I was convinced. And then I talked to him. I pushed every button. I told him that I killed my mother. Nothing. 
No reaction. He loved my mother so much that he wants to take care of me. He wants to take care of her kid. Zach, he's psychotic, all right? He's playing you. He's trying to convince you that he's a good guy when he's really a maniac. Maybe. I don't care what you do. Could quadruple my security, have a hundred men follow me. It, it doesn't matter. But there's no way I'm letting anyone else take care of my son. Yeah, it's okay. Let him in. Let who in? Ryan. What? No. No, Zach, he's, he's going to try to take Spike. I won't let him. You give me back my son, Kendall, or I am taking you to court. You're going to take me to court? What, are you out of your mind? Well, you backed me into a corner, Kendall. I have no other choice. OK, Spike is safe here. He's staying with me. Why don't you go home to the mother of your other child, please? No, I'm actually not going anywhere until this is settled. Zach, will you tell him to get out? Not a group event. OK. Spike stays, you go. Discussion's over. No, it's not over. Let me try to explain this to you. I'm protecting our son, who happens to be in danger, because Zach is a target, and you are a target. So just be reasonable, and let me take him Ryan, over. Ryan, for the third time, Spike is staying here with me. Well, then I am taking you to court. You are suing for custody of a child you didn't even want. I have parental rights here. Kendall, I have a document stipulating Yes, only that because I, I gave you those rights. Which I am now exercising. No, which you are abusing by threatening to sue for custody. I don't want to do this, Kendall, but you're not giving me another choice. No, Ryan, the choice is Spike stays. Live with it. Look, I'm, I'm going to try this again. Until the killer is caught, you're in danger, which means Spike is in danger. You even agreed to that. Well, that was before we moved into the casino. Ryan, this place is a flippin' fortress. It's not enough. There's a guy out there that wants you dead. And nothing has stopped him, absolutely nothing. Do you really want to risk our child's life? Is that what you want? Zach? I mean, are you with me on this? Oh, man. Whatever Kendall wants, it's her decision. I'm with her. Slater. I know what you're doing. You're, you're doing this because I kept Emma from you, so you want to keep my son from me. You, you, you want to punish me. No, Kendall, that's not what I want. Of course it is, Ryan. Why don't you just rip out my heart instead? It won't hurt as much. Look, it's not like you're not going to be able to see him. You come over whenever you want. Visiting you know? hours? No, not with little Annie guarding. No, uh, for, no, forget it, you know Ryan. What? I have never seen you more selfish, and that is saying a lot. Spike is safe with me. He's staying here. That's it. It worked. Killer wants to face to face with Ryan. Why would the killer want a meeting with you? Because we took advantage of the buggy left at Fusion. I went off on you. I, I guess I pretty much blamed you for everything the killer's done. I said it wouldn't be a bad idea if you got bumped off courtesy of me. That's very nice. No, he's right. It's smart. We have more than we did, but we're lucky we can flush him out in the open. This means that Jenkins is not the killer. I mean, losers behind bars can't send faxes. Yeah, wait a minute. Nightfall, that's in like, that's in like half an hour. Wait, where, where are you going? I ain't got an appointment with the killer. That's where I'm going. No, the hell you do. Let him go. Ryan, you, you love our son. You, you're all about protecting Spike and me, but it's OK for you to go and meet up with a serial killer? No, I'm sorry. Forget it. He's not going alone. I'm going with him. No, you're not. No, you are not walking out that door, Zach. I'm in. What are you doing? This is our chance. To get yourself killed? I called Aiden. He's going to be stationed at a distance. God, you're a complete and utter maniac. Please, I, I'm not going to lose my husband, my, my son's father, and a friend. Just let the cops handle this. Whoever the killer is, he's very smart. If you see so much as a Planko's cop anywhere near that pump house, we're going to lose our chance all over again. Well, it's better than winding up dead. All right. OK, big guy, I'm going to be back, all right? Don't you worry, I'll be right back. I will be back. And when I'm back, you and I are going to finish our discussion. You know what? I should have you all arrested for stupidity. There, there is an entire task force ready, willing, and able, and paid to risk Shh. their lives. It's going to be OK. Zach, please don't do this. I'll be right back.
You know your father's losing his mind. And so is Sack, and so is Tad. What are we gonna do with them? What, what do they think they're gonna do? Put the whack job under citizen's arrest? Crazy boys. Be right back. Hello? Yeah, put him through. Do you have any idea what's going on with Babe and JR? I really don't give a damn about Babe and JR. This is important, Kendall. Okay, Ryan could die, so could Zach. Is that important enough for you? 